definitely a lot colder than it was when I saw you last time. It was back in the summer where I did an arrangement using sunflowers and today we're looking at something for the Christmas and the festive period. Now I've created a base out of willow and um, honeysuckle vine, a little bit of clematis vine and some grapevine that has been growing in the garden and that's been cut back now for the winter so I've recreated or repurposed I should say um, the materials into this very elongated low down container. Now underneath, the base underneath, you might be able to see is one of these grapevine frameworks that you quite often find at the florist supplies or at NAFA's open days or what have you. And then I've bent it so that it's created um, almost a U-shaped structure and then I've attached all these different variety of vines to it to give me some textural interest. And the colour combination that we're going to be using has some dark red carnations in it. So I've tried to bring in a little bit of a colour link between my flowers and my container. And then I've decorated it with some Christmassy stars and some textural cones. Now I've placed the cones in lengthways so that they repeat the shape and size of my container. So it makes your eye travel from left to right through the front of that container. I've made it front facing, so the back is plain, but you could of course repeat that on both sides. And if you can take a little look inside, you will see I have used some insulation piping, some grey insulation piping, which looks a little bit like this. And what this does, I discovered that um, it's a great support for the test tubes. So you can use it very effectively to hold a variety of test tubes into place. And it's great even if you want to go sideways, you can tighten the insulation pipe in between each test tube as well if you want to make it a little bit more secure but I thought that was um, a good way of avoiding using floral foam because of course at the moment we're all trying to be a little bit more environmentally friendly and come up with some different ideas for our arranging flowers in. Now if you only had one of these insulation pieces they would obviously rock back and forth at the minute you added in the test tubes. Um, so I've attached, I think it's three, to make that um, structure that holds together in the base. So that's my mechanic, quite secure and quite strong there in the base. And because it's down low in the container, it's almost completely hidden. And what I decided to do was to insert my flowers into the test tube and then insert them into the arrangement. You could, of course, place your empty test tubes into the framework first of all and then arrange into the frame. Um, but it makes it a little bit easier for me because I need to wear glasses when I'm looking down close to be able to do it sort of all in one go. Now, normally I would have filled all the test tubes before I started. Um, but sometimes they overfill and sorry they overflow and it makes a little bit of a mess while you're demonstrating. So I've kept them empty today just for the purposes of filming the video. It means that I'm not going to end up with water possibly spilt over the front of the table and my turntable. Okay, so I've picked flowers that have quite a lot of texture and a variety of shapes and colours and I'm going to do almost a massed sort of design down quite low. You could of course go tall and almost parallel in its styling but I thought um, I experimented a little bit with the different ways the design worked and I liked it down low with lots of different interesting textures. So we have a little look at what we've got. 
Now, to start with, we have this gorgeous little gingerbread. This is called Frankie. And Frankie is one of the mini gingerbread. And it's a nice flat round shape. So a good contrast with that is going to be my little orangey red hypericum. So what I'm going to do is insert those into the test tubes and I'm also going to add in a little bit of the heather so that we've got almost like a little corsage type display three different plant materials that have very different texture and then I can sit those quite comfortably into that framework that I created with those insulation boards. Now I'll carry on in that manner, filling up the little test tube so that I have really just a selection of different plant material. So this is a little grass and if you look at this up close it's almost like a little insect crawling around on the ground and I'm just going to look for again contrasting materials. Now I've put three materials in each container, it doesn't matter how many you do but just think about what contrasts against one another and how those combinations work. So we're thinking very much about contrast here which is of course one of our principles of design. Now I have some foliage, just a bit of green common ivy. It can be of course anything that you can get hold of. You could use cones, cinnamon sticks, could of course be some dry material that you've been collecting through the summer months. And hydrangeas would look amazing in this, just a mass of all hydrangeas together. So that one has a little bit of foliage and this fantastic or very pretty little Astrantia, commonly known as Million Stars. And you can see exactly why it's called Million Stars because if you look at it up close, it does literally look like Million Stars. Very, very pretty, um, soft material. Now it doesn't matter whether you have large test tubes or sorry, plastic uh, vials, whether they're large or small, or whether you use glass test tubes, they work equally as well. And when I originally decided to do this design, I was thinking about using the little yoghurt pots that you have the drinks in, so the drinkable yoghurt. I'm sure you all know what I mean. Uh, but I didn't have quite enough to do the whole of the arrangement. nice little bit of clustered material together there. So this is a good, a very good way of using that small little material. Now this one is Amaranthus, isn't that lovely? Really sweet little foliage, uh, sorry, a sweet little flower. I'm sure that you are familiar with Amaranthus. We often see it in greens and dark red in very tall trailing tendrils and this is a much shorter variety this is called biscuit or hot biscuit I should say and a great one for cascading forward over the front of the container now last year I was very successful with amaranthus this year not so good so these ones are commercially grown and have been brought in uh, through the auction. So we're aiming to have our plant material at different levels, not too flat, a little bit of interest between everything. And I'm really just working from one side through to the other. I'm not too worried about having um, even balance. 
of the plant material. It's not a symmetrical design. It's not a very traditional design where everything has to be exactly the same on the left and the right. We're just trying to arrange everything so that we've got a pleasing colour combination to the eye. Some of the material I've just clustered together. And I'll just carry on in that manner, making sure that I've got plant material throughout the design. Now quite often when flower material is placed in quite low down like I've done here, it lasts um, a lot longer because the flower stem is short, the water has a much less distance to travel. So often they last a much bigger length of time. Now if your test tubes flop over when you insert them into the grey base, you can always prop them up by adding something alongside. Now this is a great design because it's reusable. It doesn't cost a great deal to, to make. Of course all the vines are, have come from the garden so they didn't cost me any money at all. The little test tubes I have in the store cupboard. Now I hope that gives you a little bit of inspiration for Christmas. I've also got some little gold baubles which I think will add another dimension to the design, give us a little bit more of a Christmassy feel. So we've just tucked those in between the flowers and the foliages just so that we get a little bit of Christmas sparkle in between the placements of the flowers. And I think that's quite attractive. I wouldn't mind that in my home. Now you could of course have done it double sided so it could sit in the centre of a table. But for now, my plan was to sit on the sideboard just inside a hallway. So Merry Christmas everybody.